Welcome to this week's TDD Weekly Report for the week ending October 6th. First, really good news for us moto vloggers. Another one of us has made it big. Yes, a friend of mine, Jim in Texas, the moto vlogger, he scored press credentials to get into NASA. Some of you may know, some of you may not know, but they're getting set for a launch. This is Sunday about 9.30 in the morning. There's a scheduled launch for 8.35 p.m. Eastern Time. And what is being launched is called CRS-1, which stands for Commercial Resupply Services. This is SpaceX, a commercial entity that NASA has hired to do 12 missions. And the total cost is going to be around $1.6 billion. And they're going to fly basically just cargo missions to resupply the space station and bring stuff back from the space station. So NASA is using them to kind of take the cargo duties off of them so they can concentrate on some other things that they do a little bit better in development and let somebody else handle the cargo load. So I think that's a pretty good idea. But if you get a chance, check out his channel. As usual, I'll have all the links down below. He's giving regular updates. And so if you go to his channel, you'll be seeing step-by-step. Step. This is just one of the many launch windows. I guess this one is a little bit better than a 50-50 chance because of cloud cover. So if they don't launch at 8.35 p.m. Eastern, there's another launch window after that, and then there's other backup launch windows. So Jim is going to try to stay around as much as possible to catch one of them if for some reason it does get postponed. But just if you get a chance, check out his page, check out the updates on the spacecraft launch and I, I'm just thinking it's so great that finally some more of us moto vloggers are actually getting recognized. I know this year was the first year I ever actually got a software sponsorship for my TDD report so if we keep it up and become a strong community, a loyal community, more people will take notice for, uh, of us and we'll be able to accomplish a lot more things on our own without any help. I think we can do it ourselves in the moto vlogging community. Next up this is sent in to me by my pal Bill, BC65925. This is kind of a tool gadget. It's really neat. This is from MIT.edu. It's a router, but it's kind of a self-guiding router. Not totally self-guiding, but what it is, is there's a little frame tracking device inside the router itself. And if you follow the rough path of the outline of the object you want to make with it, like a two-dimensional object, it will actually do all the corrections and precisely guide the cutting tool so that you make the object correct each time. And the nice thing about this is typically you have some kind of a stage deal like a 4x4 platform where you have to position all of your cutting tools and things like that to keep it accurate. And that eliminates having parts if your stage is only 4 foot by 4 foot and you want to make a part that's like a little bit bigger than the stage, you're kind of out of luck. But with using this tool, it's only subject to the range of human motion. So as you guide the tool along, it stays on track and on line with whatever the piece needs to be cut out and guides it precisely so you're basically limited to wherever you can move the router to you can make a two-dimensional piece there's a video on this a YouTube video down below on this article that shows a guy actually doing a demonstration with it and the neat thing about this is there's going to be a commercial version coming out in fact this is a consumer version of the position correcting router is being developed to be released by a forthcoming startup so this looks like something we will actually see on the market now obviously it's going to be quite a bit more expensive than just your typical everyday router but if you want to do precision projects over a long range and keep the the dimensions accurate but be able to move it you know not be limited by just a, a two-dimensional stage where you have to position a cutting tool I think this could be a really good thing and while we're talking about tools I would like to make a suggestion I'm going to actually play a video after this and I would like to suggest that other people if you feel so inclined and you have a general hand tool that's maybe a little out of the ordinary put up a video or send me a, a one minute video of this tool demonstrating it and ask people if they can figure out what this tool does don't demonstrate what the tool does but demonstrate how the tool itself moves around and see if people can actually figure out the function of the tool but meanwhile, my friend Mick has a video, and I want you to try to guess what this tool is. I will give you the answer on next week's TDD report, but um, check down in the comments and see if you can figure out what this is. Take it away, Mick. I was on uh, YouTube with Ton over the weekend. We were doing some research, and we came across a pair of pliers quite by accident, and I just happened to have a pair um, on my desk at work, and I've never used them and, um, up until... Uh, this weekend I never knew what they were used for so uh, I'm going to put it here can you tell me what these are so uh, here we go 
Now what they are is they, uh, they're basically a standard set of pliers. They're not um, pointy nose, they're not uh, flat tipped, they're sort of a uh, slightly rounded or slightly pointed. Um, regular sort of pliers pretty much and they've got the little cutting bit in there. Give you a nice close up, I don't know if you can see that. Um, pretty much a normal set of pliers in every way except they have this attachment in the middle there. So I'll just uh, cruise that by the lens and then uh, I'll take it back the other way. Look at around that way and uh, around that way. And can you uh, tell me what these are used for? So uh, like I said, normal set of pliers, they just have this extra little bit of attachment on the end there. Okay, get back to me. Thanks Mick. So that's it for this week's TDD report. Take care everybody, I will catch you next week.